and let's look at our very first assignment that we are about to do in Google Docs, which is, of course, our word processing software, which we just learned. Here's our assignment. It is linked in your Google Classroom, and it's on the Tech One website. And we're going to start right here with step one. Save this document as W1 hyphen, the class period hyphen, and your last name. And I give an example there. So let's move over to our open Google Doc. And we're going to come up to the top. And if your class is third hour on a Wednesday, you will put a 3W. If it's second hour on Friday, you would put a 2F and so forth. And then be sure to change last name to your actual last name. So that will be our first step. And then we click out of it. And now we're ready for step two. Step two is a long step, but it's because it takes you through the entire header, which is shown at the top of this page with your last name and the hour, assignment one in the middle, which is centered, and a page number at the right. And I've broken it down into letters A through F, and if you follow each one, you should get a really perfect header on this. And it's the first time we've learned to set tabs. So this is some brand new material for a lot of you. Choose insert header to view the header. So looking at our assignment, there are two different ways to do that. The fastest way is to double click at the top of the page and header should pop up. Please be careful to never check this box. There should not be a check mark there. If you're double clicking and you cannot get it, it's all, always under insert, headers and footers, header. And that will always open it up. So if you're not good at double clicking, it doesn't quite catch use the steps. 2A says to key your last name and the class hour at the left in the header. And it's shown on this page. And now we're going to go ahead and do that. So put your last name. And then again, we were talking about being third hour Wednesday. So I will put 3W. Letter B says click your mouse at 3.25 inches on the ruler and choose add center tab. If you look over here to the right, there's an illustration of what the tab options look like when you click on that ruler. If you cannot see this ruler, be sure to go to view and put a check mark next to show ruler. So here's three inches and here's three and a half because it's halfway here. So half of three and a half is three and a quarter or 3.25. And it's also just two little of these little tick marks after the three. So single click. This is a center tab stop. And now you can see a diamond there. And here's how you check it. Click on it. It says 3.25. If it had said 3.13 because you were off one, just drag it. If I had, if you realized you read the instructions wrong and, it's, and the instruction said three and a half, you just move it. If you need to get rid of it, you pull straight down a little bit and just let go and it's completely gone. So it's very easy to set, move, or delete a tab. So I will put that back on there. Letter C says to tab to the 3.25 and key assignment one. Now, this is where you're gonna hit your tab key on the keyboard next to the letter Q. It'll move all the way over there. Please never, 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 never space over. And plus, remember this was a center tab? That means anything we type here is going to be centered. And if you notice there, the words assignment one centered as I typed. Letter D, click your mouse at 6.5 inches on the ruler and add a right tab stop. Now, it's kind of tricky because if I come over here, that's 6.5, but I can't click on it. It says right margin. And a little side note, never move this guy. He's the right edge of your paper. He's your right margin. We don't move that. The one pointing down stays put. So here's how we're going to set our six and a half inch tab. We're going to click at six. We're going to add the right tab stop like the direction said. And we're going to hold him down and move him. 6.5, let go. So now it's exactly right. Tab to the 6.5, choose insert page number, and we want the top of the page. So again, hit that tab key and it'll move right over there. 
do not type the number one or every page of your paper will be page one. Even if it's a 10 page paper, it'll they'll all say they're page one. We have to go to insert page numbers and we want the first one that shows the page number on every page. The last step says close the header by clicking below it. So I'm just gonna come below this line and click once and I'm out of the header. I can't see the tabs anymore because I'm not in the header. If I go back to the header, I can see my tabs. They're still there. I'm just out of the header. So let's go ahead and do naming the document and step two.